everybody welcome back to my channel so happy to see all of my Disney peaches and today I have got a crazy mega awesome haul for you it is from the Disney parks it's from lounge fly it is from uh, just online sellers I mean I have got a little bit of everything today so if you want to see what I got come on back As many of you know, Mitzi, my twin sister, uh, Bells of Cotton here on YouTube and over on IG, has just gotten back from Disney World. She and her family, um, Tria, Eddie, Zachary, they were all there for a week and had a ball. So we met up tonight and had dinner and y'all, she brought me my stuff. She, of course, picked me some goodies up at Disney when she was there. And y'all, look at this big old bag. Oh my gosh. This is the, now this bag is not full, but it is huge. Look at this thing. And um, so I love to have these little gift bags. And um, it, this one is a huge one. So I'm going to start out with this. And I'm going to show you things that Mitzi brought me back. So, um, a couple, two of the things I bought myself. I told her I paid for it. I said, pick them up for me. And I'll start with those two things. Because I love them. And then everything else is what Mitzi brought me. So, she was showing me the different ears that they had there. And I just loved all the ears. You know, I love pretty ears. And, um, y'all, I had her pick this pair up for me. Is these not, are these not beautiful? These are gold sequins. And then the bow is all sequins also. And it's gold dots that are sequins. And then the bow is, uh, the bow itself is sequins. And, and then even the band um, on the side is sequins. And I believe all of the ears were $29, I believe. I want to say, let me bring these up close so you can see them, okay? So look how absolutely beautiful these are the shimmer the sparkle y'all i just love it when she showed me these i was like oh my goodness i gotta have those and you can see it goes around to the back and um i just love this color of gold and you can see the side is sparkly also oh i love them so much thank you mitzi for picking these up for me i love them so the next pair i had mitzi pick up for me and kelly and kami my sister-in-law and niece if y'all are watching you might want to turn your head because they don't really like these ears but i had them pick them up for me anyway <laughs> I just think they're cute. These are the purple sequins with the satin bow. It is baby pink and white polka dots. So let me bring these up close for you also. Okay, so here are these. I just love that beautiful sparkle in the purple. And the bow is super puffy. It's like a super bow. And it is just like I said, the pink and the white polka dot. And here's the back. It is just so beautiful. And again, the, the sequins carry down to the band. Just so beautiful. I just love these too. And I know these aren't everybody's cup of tea, but I just think they're precious. I think these would be beautiful with a lavender or purple or even white or pink top. I just think they're so pretty. I love them. So thank you, Mitzi, for picking these up. 
Now y'all, Missy surprised me with another pair of ears. You know, I could have went crazy, but it can get expensive buying ears at the park because those two ears were $30 a piece. So I was already up to 60 bucks. So I kind of cut myself off at that. And she knew that I love these and she bought them for me as a surprise. <gasps> yes, it is the Jack Skellington or Nightmare Before Christmas ears. And y'all, I love these. Let me bring them up so you can see them. So, y'all, look at this. I love, it feels and looks like, kind of like a patent leather, this bat part. And then I love this part. It's just a matte finish, and it's kind of puffy. And these look like the stripes in uh, Jack Skellington's pants. And I just love it. And y'all want to see the back? I about flipped. <laughs> here is oogie boogie and this is all just the same matte finish and then there's shock shock lock and barrel and those are on the back and then here um you have embroidered of uh, these bones are on the side embroidered so i love them these are going to be so perfect um, for Halloween time. I cannot wait to wear these. I love them. Thank you, Missy. I screamed at the restaurant when she gave them to me. I love them so much. So, Missy went to Basin, and you know, that's such a wonderful place to go. Here's the little Basin bag, and she got herself one of these, and she got me one. It's one of the little containers, um, but it has we both agree that um, we think a whole bath bomb is just too much in the water when you take a bath. And so um, she's trying this. You want me to try it? Um, these are like little micro bath bombs. And um, they're from Basin. And they come in this little tube or it's a container that you can buy them and put them in. I remember I've gotten bath salts in a container very similar to this, maybe a little bit bigger. But these are just so cute. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bath bombs in here. And again, they're just tiny. And we're going to try one and see if we can tell a difference in our water. But let me show you this up close. So here are the bath bombs. You can see when I first saw them, I said, oh, sweet tarts. But they're not, it's not candy by any means. These are for the bath. And y'all... When I pop this lid to smell them, oh my goodness, it's heaven. I can't even tell you what this smells like. It is that good. I cannot wait to try it because I'm a bath girl. Um, I grew up being a bath girl and I've always been a bath girl and I love stuff like this. So I cannot wait to try these. So thank you, Meetsy. I love them. So, one trip to Disney would not be complete without getting a Rice Krispie Treat. Yes, she got me the Mickey. It's got Minnie Mouse on it. It's just a fun, uh, you know, Rice Krispie Treat in the shape of Mickey Head. And um, you can see it's Minnie Mouse on the front. But I cannot wait to try that. Then, Mitzi surprised me with some pens that I was just so excited about. Um, this pen came out, I feel like, while she was still there. And it is, of course, Star Wars, because you know Mitzi and I both love Star Wars. And this is limited edition. I'm not real sure how much it is, but I feel like it's probably in the thousands of probably. And it just says first order. It's like a first order banner and it's a slider. So when you push out one side, you've got one character and then you push out the other side and you got something else. So let me show you this up close. Okay. Okay. So here's the pen and, um, you can see right here, this side is already already out and it's Kylo Ren with his lightsaber. And then you push it in on this side and then you have, uh, what is this, an A-wing? 
um, come out on this side. So you can just push them back and forth and each character or each thing comes out. So I love it. So thank you, Missy, for picking me one up. I'm so excited to have it. And then while she was there, I had no idea she was picking this up. Cause you know, my favorite villain is Corella DeVille. And there is an Artfully Evil series that has come out. I have Gaston and the Queen of Hearts already. But this one uh, was $19.99. And she picked it up and it was Corella. So you can see it's Corella DeVille. And y'all, this is a honker of a pen. Look how thick it is. And it's really heavy. So, uh, it is so adorable. I'm so glad. I was just looking at this yesterday. And I love it. So, thank you, Mitzi, for my pens. I love them. Okay, another thing that Mitzi picked up for me is when she rode uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. It's one of her favorite things to ride when she's at Disney. When they came out in the gift shop, she saw these and these have been sold out online and so she picked herself up one and she picked me one up so let me show you it is it's treasure skeleton and it's number 783 and it's he's just sitting on all of the jewels and gold and money and everything and this is it isn't it just adorable? You can see all of the jewels and stuff down here that he's sitting on. And he's got his pirate hat on. I love it. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to take it out. Because i got so much I want to show y'all. But this is what the back looks like. And, um, yeah, I love it. It says exclusively at Disney. So I love it. I'm so excited to have it. So thank you, Mitzi. Okay, y'all. I'm ready to start showing you some lounge fly. Y'all, I've got so many boxes to show you. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start out with a wallet. I have not received the actual backpack yet. It's due to come in this month, but I'm going ahead and throwing this in this haul. And I'll probably show it to you again um, once it comes out. But y'all, I love this. This is from, um, who did I get? I guess I got it from 707 Street because that's where all my boxes are from. <laughs> um, this is the gorgeous Beauty and the Beast ballroom scene Disney Lounge Fly wallet. And again, I have the backpack coming, but it hasn't arrived yet. So, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you this one now with my other stuff. Y'all, look how gorgeous this is. Is that not stunning? Just the beauty of it all. Um, you know, Belle and the Beast. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is embroidered on her dress. The ruffle effect is embroidered on her dress in a um, metallic uh, thread. And so, oh my goodness. Each of them, Belle and the Beast, you can feel uh, there's a little bit of puffiness. So I feel like it's, um, you know, insinuated by the edging really well. And then you have this go gold foil going around the... The trim of the windows. It is just beautiful. Of course, gorgeous gold hardware. On the back, you can see uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip, and you've got Cogsworth and Lumiere. Here's the chandelier, and then all of the sparkles hanging down um, are embroidered. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. And I love, y'all, this logo tag. The logo tag is just beautiful. It's a gorgeous navy blue. And it matches the Beast's jacket so beautifully. Right there. Now, y'all, let's open it up. Oh, look at the purple. Is that not stunning? I love this royal purple. And then I've oh, got multiple card slots. I love that this color of brown goes with the outside. And then it has a 30th anniversary fabric on the inside. So it's absolutely beautiful. You have got the 30th anniversary lining on the inside for your paper money. And it's just stunning. 
and then you also have a place for coins um and it has a 30th anniversary uh lining as well and it's just a snap too y'all i love it okay the next thing i want to show you and share with you is another bag from 707 street and i'm taking out the paper and y'all oh my goodness here's 70 streets card um i'll put their link down below um for you to check out they have a lot of the latest um releases coming out um they have some of the ones that have been um uh, sold out they have later releases so you definitely could find it there but this is the next bag i'm so excited let's get it open i haven't opened it i've been waiting to share it with y'all i think i need my scissors y'all this tape is incredible they are starting to really use tape that is just crazy um good okay let's take the plastic off oh my goodness here comes the paper Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take the paper off the back. Oh, y'all, I have wanted this thing for so long. This is my first Cruella backpack, and I, I think it's the best one yet. I love her crazy eyes. I mean, she is just, it almost looks just, just like a dartboard. <laughs> But y'all, I love this. I love the hair, um, black and white hair, um, the Dalmatian spots all over. And look, they've got the white logo right here on the front. And then more Dalmatian spots on the side. The back is just plain. It's just plain. It's just, there's no writing or pictures on it. Uh, I think we got enough going on in the front. <laughs> and then there's the other side. <gasps> Yo, I love it. Oh, I just love that they've just done nothing but a um, uh, a gunmetal hardware. So it's not distracting. See, it's, it's just so dark. And I think that's perfect. Y'all, I love this. Now, I'm going to open it up. And I've seen videos of the inside of this pocket. And so I want to see it for myself. It's different. Normally you have the lining that's on the inside of the bag inside of the uh, zipper pocket as well. On this one, you do have it on the front, but down here, look what it does. <laughs> It's her mouth with her earrings hanging down into the pocket. Is that not incredible? And then you do have the logo uh, interior, which just has Corella DeVille, and it's got um, her face all over it. So, I love it. It's so fun. So, I just love this one. So, now, let's open it up and look at the inside. Now, each of these hair pieces are individually laid on there. there it's not just one big piece that they just applied. These are all applied individually. So, that really gives it a hair-like look and feel. And so, let's look inside real quick and see what we see. Oh, here's the lining. You can see Corella DeVille and her portrait all over. It's just a black background. And is there an interior pocket? Uh, yes! There is an interior zip pocket. So you have an interior zip, you have two outside pockets, and then you have a really nice size um, pocket on the front. So, I love these kind of pockets right here where they're larger. They're just far more functional and I love the way it looks. It just really gives some stability to the bag and I love it. I don't know if I showed you the, the um, plaque up close. Let me show you. So, here's the plaque up close. You can see that. It's so pretty. And that's Miss Corella. I love it. 
Now, also, I cannot get the backpack and not get the wallet. So, I had to go ahead and pick that up as well. And it is your larger um, elongated wallet. And um, look, it's got that same crazy uh, picture of Corella on the front. And you can feel the definite um, uh, edging around each piece of hair. And um, her eyes are embroidered. The eyebrows are embroidered. Her mouth is embroidered. The lips. And then on the back, you've got um, the pretty... I just love the whole Dalmatian print. I just think it's beautiful with the same white logo tag. And it has the gunmail hardware also. Oh, listen at that. It is the smoothest zippers. Oh, I love this. Look. You've got uh, black and white card slots. You have a slip back here. A slip pocket. You have the... Um, coin pouch with that same interior oh my gosh it is so beautiful oh i love it so now i've got the backpack and i've got the wallet finally my first pieces of corella okay i've got another 707 street box and let's look inside and see what's in this box this is my next one this one is Spider Gwen, and it is Gwen bag from Spider-Man, and y'all, it is so beautiful. This is the first time I'm seeing it, and I just love, I love the big pocket on the front. I love the blocks of black and white. And then all of this webbing um, on the side that's red and it has the mint green. Almost like a Tiffany blue though. And um, it's that way on this side. This one does not have side pockets. And then you can see here is Spider Gwen back here. It's all embroidered back here. So there's Spider Gwen right there. And it's just black on the bottom. And I love that you've got just a silver hardware uh, spider right here on the front. Let me bring it up so you can see it, okay? So there's your spider, and it's in a silver hardware. And then you keep going up, and you see the black here and the beautiful black logo. And I love that it says Marvel on the side and then Loungefly. So that's awesome. And, um, yeah, I love it. Let's see what the inside of this looks like. Oh, yeah. It's like, I think it's becoming a running theme. They are not putting the, um, the lining that's on the inside of the bag against the bag itself. It's just a continuation of the backpack, uh, from above. And so that is really, really cute. And, uh, but they do have it on the, on the pocket on the other side. So let's now look on the inside of the bag, okay? And I love this white crisp color. Oh, that's so pretty. And this is so soft um, compared to like this part. It's a much uh, sturdier feel, but I love it. So awesome. Okay, oh yeah. So here's your Spider Gwen. It's so awesome. And let's see if there is an extra. Yes, there's a zipper in the back. So it's like more and more they're starting to include zippers inside. That's crazy. Oh, I just love the black and then this beautiful mint or Tiffany blue against it. Um, and that's the same color of the webbing. It's just so, so pretty. I love it. Silver hardware on top. Love it. Another box from 707 Street. You can tell I bought a lot from them. <laughs> Let's see which one this is. Oh my goodness. I remember this. I've actually opened this one already because I was dying to see it. But it is from 707 Street also. And y'all, you're going to love this one. It is. Darth Vader! 
look how absolutely beautiful this bag is. I'm not kidding you. Oh my goodness, y'all. This bag is absolutely stunning. It has a lot of characters of patent leather um, on the bag. Through here, you can see the black is so shiny. Um, you see touches of it on the trim. y'all, look at this beautiful... It looks like patent leather. I know it can't be, probably. but And it has an all black. And I love that. Everything is just all black. It looks like gunmetal hardware uh, kind of look as the logo. Let me see if I can bring that up and let you see it. So, you can see right there how beautiful that is. And then back here is so beautiful. Look at these straps. They're so slick and soft and shiny. It really does give you the patent leather uh, look. And I love that in packaging, they did not double bend up the actual straps. You can see here, they're not bent twice like most of them are and taped up. Um, because it would probably put a really bad crease in these. So even when you're restoring yours after you wear it, I would not double bend these back on itself. I would try to leave them straight like this. But um, it is just a beautiful, beautiful bag. Now, look at this. Oh, I love this. This is Darth Vader's uh, vehicle and he had a TIE fighter and look at the zipper pull on this one isn't that beautiful it's just a gunmetal hardware and then you can see while I'm up here um, all of the details um, on the belt so so pretty and you can see even up here it has the patent leather um, look also I love that it's a larger pocket and y'all this one does something really special let me show you okay I cut an extra light off just to see if it would work but I have so much studio lighting in here I don't know that it's gonna show but it lights up you see that and there's a switch on the inside of your bag. It's just like an on and off switch that you turn or push and it causes the bag to come on and off. So it lights up, all of this is lit up right now. And I'm gonna cut it off now. I hope, yeah. So now all of it went off. So y'all, this is just so gorgeous. I love it. It's going to be absolutely beautiful in my collection. The inside is just black. It's really hard to see. And it's just got like silver, Death Star, and TIE Fighters all over it. And let's see if it has an interior zip. We'll see. Yes! It has an interior zip also! So that's awesome. I tell you, I just love the new styles of the bags that are coming out now. I'm telling you, Loungefly is killing it um, with all of their new bags that have come out. This is just beautiful. There are no side pockets in this one. And um, yeah, I just love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. So my Darth Vader. Okay, I got another bag to show you. I'm going to put the box over here. Oh my goodness. Y'all, are you ready for this one? This one just came in. It is Poe Dameron. Poe Dameron from Star Wars. And this is the bag that they re-released. Um, I've got several of the OG or the original uh, bags that came out, but I never did get this one. So I definitely wanted to pick it up um, when it came out the second time. But this is a gorgeous bag. Look at all of the detail and color. Just absolutely stunning. I love the red. It just pops off this dark background. Let me bring it up close. You can see some of it. 
So again, this is Poe Dameron, and here's the Rebel logo. He's a good guy, and I have no idea what all of this means or even says. You have a, blo a black logo tag here, more embroidering um, embellishments there. Uh, over to the side, you've got more detail. Um, just either painted or applique. This is an applique on there. Um, here's the back. It's just plain. This is the exact replica of the original one that was released. Look at the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Rebel logo t um, thing right here. And then it just has the same kind of hardware. It's just kind of an antique -y colored hardware. Um, and like I said, they made it exactly like the original one. So the inside does not have anything special. This inside is, I think, that gray and white stripe. Yep. Just like your OG bags, your older original bags. And I don't know if they, yeah, there's no inside pockets because none of the newer, I mean, I'm sorry, none of the older um, bags had interior pockets. So this is really an exact replica of, well, it's the same release. It's just that they've re-released it. It's the same bag. Everything's exactly the same, but it is so pretty. I love all of this. Um, it's just gorgeous. So now I've got Poe Dameron in my collection. I cannot believe it. Okay, the next thing that I want to share with you is something that I've already shared on my Instagram uh, account over there, um, and I need to show it with you guys because I haven't shared it with you yet. Um, so um, it's, this is not the last thing I got to share, but I'll go ahead and do it since it's next in line. I had ordered this, um, this box in particular from Pink a la Mode. And y'all, this is one thing that I got, and it is a pouch of some sort. It could be for cosmetics. I would be careful with it though. Or it could be for pencils or anything you really need to put in it. I like using these pouches in my my handbags, my backpacks, just to put stuff like lotion and uh, ear pods or whatever um, in them. And so this one I got, and I love it because it is all of the princess dresses. Let me show you up close. Look how beautiful those are. All of the dresses, just beautiful. And um, it's just a different array. There's Belle, I love it. And um, it just has silver hardware. It just has the gray and silver interior. So, oh, it's so pretty, I love it. So I got that. And then again, I have shared this um, on my Instagram. But I want to share it with you guys also. And it was, it's a special bag that uh, came out. And um, it is actually, it was released first to uh, the Disney Employee Center. And there's three in the series. And it is, I only got one. And it is the Maleficent Bag and Sleeping Beauty. And it is Lounge Fly. So they had a certain amount they released with the Disney Employee Center, and then uh, Pink All Mode got the exclusive on it, and so they sold out almost immediately. I don't even still know how I got one, but so many people got all three, and I don't even know how. It does have side pockets. Um, it has this beautiful purple color all over, and. Um, gold hardware which I love and then it just has these amazing colors of yellow pink and blue and then you have the Maleficent dragon up here then you have Maleficent right here and then here is your Sleeping Beauty down here you've got the dark logo tag right there and y'all it's so pretty the back has nothing on it it's just purple and it does have a slant zipper pocket right here, but that pocket's too hard to get into. I'm not even going to try, um, but it is a pocket uh, for the front, which I never use those if I have um, a bag with the slanted pocket like that. 
and um, I just want to mess the front up, you know. And again, it has the gorgeous uh, gold hardware. And then when you open it up, here is your interior. It is Maleficent Dragons all over. And then what was the bird's name? Uh, I can't remember the bird. Oh gosh, it'll probably come to me later. And then it's just got vines all on the inside. Isn't that beautiful? Oh wow, it's so pretty. And this one does not have an interior pocket. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful bag. Um, again, it was very limited and, um, yeah, these were really, I mean, it's like the hottest thing right now. People are trying to get, um, uh, one of these bags. Uh, it was this one, Sleeping Beauty and Maleficent. And then there was Ariel and Ursula. I almost went for that one, but I decided to go with this one. So I could have went either way with that. And then the other was um, Snow White and the Evil Queen. They all were absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm just so, so excited to have it. And I also don't have them with me. I, I showed these in another video, but um, I have the pouches that match all three bags. So I have the Maleficent one, I have the Ursula, and the Evil Queen one. So, um, but yeah, these are beautiful. Love it. Okay, I have a couple more things to share with you. Um, here's another bag that I got, and I'm just so tickled pink over it. This is the first one of these that I've ever gotten. I know there's been other variations of this, but this is the only one that I've gotten. I think Meechie's gotten a couple of them uh, from other stores. But this is my first, and Lord, help me, help me, help me say it straight. <laughs> it is my Ashoko Tana. No, Ashoko Tano bag. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm trying. But this is the one that was released from, I believe it was, was it Grotto's Treasure? Yes, Grotto's Treasure. I had to look at the tag. But I just thought this was the prettiest version of this character that I've seen. And I was like, I really want that for my Star Wars collection. And um, it's such a beautiful color of blue. It is almost like a denim blue. Um, just, just a very like eye pleasing blue. I don't even know how to explain it. And then you have the orange all over her face and these coming down the sides on each side. It has silver hardware. And um, yeah, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It has your classic, um, very classic uh, mini backpack style with the smaller pocket on the front. And it does have side pockets. And uh, you have the accent of orange there. The back is, mm, it's just plain. There's nothing on it. And the bottom as well. And um, yeah, it's just so pretty. I love it. And I just think this is the prettiest version of this character. And um, I like the logo tag. Let me show you because it has that same blue background. I think it's pretty. Okay, so here it is. Isn't that a pretty color blue on that background? I think it's so pretty. So let's look inside and see what the interior is like. Oh, it just says Star Wars over and over and over. That's so cute. And let's check for the interior pocket. Yes, it has a zipper on the back side also. So, tons of functionality, which is so awesome. We always like to have more pockets. You can never be too organized in your bags. And, um, yeah, I love it. So, so happy to add Ashoka Tano. Ashoka Tano to my collection. <laughs> okay, I got one more box to share with you and we'll be done. We're getting to an end, I promise. So I actually had already, um, this particular item I ordered off Shop Disney and I ordered it for someone. And um, Lord, before I could eat, the next day after I, well no, the same day, the same day that I ordered it that morning, um, this person announced that she had ordered it for herself. And I was like, no, I wanted to give it
it to you, but I'm so happy that she got it. So, um, but let me share with you the bag that I got from Shop Disney. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> yes, I found this when it was on sale on Shop Disney. And I'm going to take the cardboard thing out. Uh, this bag is regularly $64.99 and it was marked down to like $30, whatever it was. I can't remember. It was $30, $30 something. But it is cute as a button. It has, it's kind of like a bluish gray background and it has Minnie Mouse as the Statue of Liberty. So it is so adorable. It just has like an antique uh, type hardware and let me show it up close, okay? So here it is, um, it is Minnie Mouse, and it is her as the Statue of Liberty, and it just has NYC all over it, and it's just dedicated to New York, and I just think it's precious as it can be, I just love it, and um, here's the back, it's just a AOP, which is an all over print. And, um, yeah, it is so adorable. Let's look inside and check out the interior, okay? Ah! It's like a pretty mint color, and it has dark Mickey heads all over it. That's adorable. I don't care. That's adorable. There's no interior pocket that I could see, but it's just darling oh i so bad wanted to give this to her and uh yeah it was just such a darling bag and um but i'm so happy that she's gotten it already and um yeah it's even on the bottom look at there such an adorable bag i love it okay guys we're down to the last item in my haul finally y'all they at the same time that i bought um the new york bag they had this on sale also and i've always wanted to pick it up and never did and i said you know what i'm not passing up on this opportunity again it is the green alien wristlet and this is darling i just love it and let me get the scissors to open it up. They use the strongest tape I've ever seen. And here it comes out of the bag. I love it. So we have uh, one of the green aliens. It's just adorable. This pretty blue with, this, uh, with the uh, planet with the ring going around it. And um, I just love the three eyes up here. I just love this color green. I love it. Let me show you the logo tag because it's a uh, pretty green also. Look at that. Isn't that not pretty? You have this place here to put it on your belt um, or stroller or a wheelchair, whatever you need it to be. You have the strap um, for your wrist. And it's detachable, so if you don't want to do that and you just want to wear it by the belt loop, you could do that also. So I was so excited. I think I got it for like $19 or something like that. It's regularly $40. So I took advantage of that sale real fast. So love the green alien. So glad to finally put this. Oh, wait. Let's see what the interior is. I about forgot. Oh, my gosh. Look! Oh my gosh! It is green aliens everywhere. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I am a huge green aliens fan, so I'm so glad to have this in my collection. Okay, guys, that's it. That is my whole haul, unless I'm forgetting something, and I'm looking around because everything's just kind of positioned around me right now. I think that's it oh my gosh i mean i had so many pre-orders i still have more pre-orders to come in um i have several pre-orders to come in from july the pre-order for july 
So I may even do a video coming up of all the pre-orders that came out for July. And uh, not just to, I want to show and share to those of you that follow me who haven't seen them, but also just to share with you which ones I got, um, which ones I still want to get, even though I haven't gotten them yet, um, which ones I just don't feel like I want it at all, and um, just chit chat about them, and um, I'm really excited to do that. So look out for a video like that coming up soon. So anyway, that's my whole haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again, Mitzi, for all my goodies from Disney, and I just love all my other bags. I'm so excited to finally have them here. Now that I've shared them with you, I can put them away, and so more fun stuff coming up soon. So. We'll see you then. Bye.